friends, in this video, we are going to discuss the topic triangulation and this uh, idea comes under the module research aptitude. So what we are doing in this particular session is we'll be focusing on a question that it was asked in NTA in December 2021 and June 2022. And this question was asked for the economic shift as well. So we'll be focusing on that question and we'll be trying to understand the concept of triangulation and we are trying to solve this question as well. So here you have the question. This was a statement question and statement one says triangulation is described as that of researchers taking different perspectives in answering research questions. Statement two says triangulation is expected to produce knowledge from different insights to promote quality research. So in order to answer this question, what we need to understand is the concept of triangulation, right? So both the concepts or uh, both the statements are about uh, this triangulation. And this is a very important idea that you have to learn as well. So what do you mean by triangulation? So triangulation and research means using multiple database or data sets, methods, theories and or investigators to address a research question. It's a research strategy that can help you enhance the validity and credibility of your findings. So what do you mean by triangulation? So you're actually using multiple data sources or multiple methods or investigators, or you can call them as observers or researchers. And we are trying to answer or we are trying to address a particular research question. So you're focusing on a research question and you're trying to understand or analyze that particular or you're trying to address that research questions from multiple perspectives. You're using different uh, data sets, you'll be using different methods and you'll be using different theories or even different investigators in order to address that particular question that is on focus. And why we need to do this or why we use this particular concept of triangulation in research. Obviously, this is used in order to increase or it is used in order to enhance the validity and credibility of our findings. So if you're using multiple data sets and if you're using different methods and we are addressing the same issue, actually what we're doing here, we are enhancing the validity or credibility of the findings that we have uh, we have coming up with. So we're not focusing on a single method. We are not focusing on, a, on just a single uh, data set, but we are focusing on multiple resources, right? So this will actually increase the credibility or the validity of our findings. And this is often used in qualitative research as well. So if you are getting a question like this, triangulation can be considered as qualitative or quantitative research. It is mainly used in qualitative research. That is again a very important point. So we said that we're using various uh, methods or we're using multiple data sets or investigators or even uh, various theories in order to address a particular uh, research question. That is what we're doing in triangulation. So based on this idea, we have four different types of triangulation. So what are these main types of triangulation? We have data triangulation, investigative triangulation, then we have theory triangulation and also methodological triangulation. So what do you mean by these four different types of triangulation? So if you consider data triangulation, what we're doing here, we're using different data, right? You're using data from different times, space and people. So if you're, you're using different set data sets uh, in order to address the same issue, the same research question. So what we're doing here is data triangulation. And also we have investigative triangulation. What do you mean by this investigative triangulation involving multiple researchers in collecting or analyzing data. So that is another type of triangulation. So uh, what you can find here it as an example. So considering data triangulation. So uh, if you're focusing on data triangulation, let's say you're considering a research question or you're focusing on an issue or uh, a particular thing called you're trying to understand the sleeping pattern of college students. For example, it's, it's an example that you can connect with triangulation. And if you're collecting data uh, of students uh, regarding their sleeping pattern from Kerala and also you are trying to figure out some uh, data from other states of the country, what we're doing here, you're not just focusing on a single data. If you're just collecting data from the students of Kerala, it's a single data. But if you're focusing or if you're collecting data from multiple uh, sources or if you're collecting data from student students um, from different states, what we are focusing here, we are collecting data or we are collecting different types or we can say that we are collecting multiple data sets, right? So that is basically data triangulation. So this actually uh, increases the credibility or validity of the final findings that you're coming up with. And coming to investigative triangulation, the thing is, the, 
thing is similar. We are using multiple researchers in collecting or analyzing data. All right. And what is the next type? We have the next type of theory triangulation. triangulation we are using varying theoretical perspectives in your research so that is theory triangulation so what is an example that you can connect with us with this particular thing so for example uh, if you are focusing on the cooperative mentality of the people working in a particular firm or let's say uh, the cooperative mentality of the people working in a certain, yeah, certain firms, if you're considering that, there are actually various theories that you can associate with this particular topic. So what is the motivation that is behind this cooperative attitude? Do we have various theories on motivation and if you're connecting or if you're taking various theories and you're connecting uh, these ideas or theories with the particular thing that you are focusing on that is the cooperative mentality of the people who are working in the same firm. So actually what we are doing here we are, we are using multiple theories and we are analyzing the same issue and this will actually increase the credibility or the validity of the findings that we are coming up with right. So that is theory triangulation and also we can use multiple methods in order to address the same research question and that kind of triangulation can be called as methodological triangulation. What we are doing here we are using different methodologies to approach uh, the same topic. So these are the four different types of triangulations as well. So what we have discussed here is we have focused on the concept of triangulation. What is triangulation? Triangulation means we are using multiple data sets or theories or investigators or methods in order to address a research question and why we are using this uh, particular uh, method or this approach 
this is the increase or enhance the validity and credibility of our research findings and also this is mainly used in qualitative research as well and also we have focused on the four different or four major types of triangulation also. Coming back to the question that we have uh, so at the beginning of this session the question goes like this we have two different statements. Statement 1 says triangulation is described as that of researchers taking different perspectives in answering research questions. That is true, right? Triangulation means or it is an approach where the researchers are taking different perspectives in answering the, the research questions, right? So that is a true statement. Statement 2 says triangulation is expected to produce knowledge from different insights to promote quality research. So we are actually focusing on a particular question from different perspectives and that is for increasing the quality of the research or that will actually enhance the credibility or the validity of the research and that finally contributes to the quality as well. In that sense we can say that both the statements are true, statement 1 and statement 2 are true. So both statement 1 and statement 2 are correct as option A so the right answer for this question is option A itself. So in this session we have discussed about the concept of triangulation as I have already mentioned this is a very important idea. Uh, that you have to learn under research aptitude we have discussed on the concept and also we said that this is mainly used in qualitative researchers and also we have focused on the four different types of triangulation as well so i hope this idea is now clear for you so make sure that you know about triangulation and you when you're practicing questions also focus on this particular area and try to have a very thorough idea about the concept of triangulation as well so thanks for watching and happy learning